Hello students, welcome to the last section of the Unit 15 Ecology chapter. Let's begin with prayer. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you for this uh, school year, um, God, and we thank you for all the new relationships that we developed and all of the new learning that happened. Uh, we pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. So, ecosystems are all divided into what we call terrestrial biomes. These are large areas of land um, that contain similar ecosystems. They can exist in different locations on the earth. And we, we categorize them into eight major biomes. You might find different categorizations in different areas, but at least for this unit, we'll do eight major biomes. The main differences between them are temperature, rain life, or rainfall, and plant life. Okay, so... Here is a diagram which shows all the different biomes of the world. You see the tundra up here, or the 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 what, what this what they call the northern conifer, or the the taiga. We'll we'll call it the taiga. Um, you have the tropical rainforest. You have the tropical deciduous forest, which isn't one that we'll really go over. But you have the chaparral. You have the desert, temperate grasslands, and and these are very large ecosystems. If you're wondering which one we live in, we're right here in between what would be temperate forest and temperate grassland. We're kind of right on that line. Um, so let's go in and let's look at each one of these biomes. Tundra, this is the coldest, has very little rain, um, and actually just as much, it's, it's very much like a desert except cold. Um, and there's not much life at all. That's the tundra. You have the taiga, and actually I've seen it spelled like this before, and I've also seen it spelled like this. So I don't know which one to tell you. Um, it is, Google seems to think it goes like that. It's the second coldest biome. You usually find this a little bit closer to the equator than the tundra, but still pretty much towards the poles. Um, more rain, lots of evergreen trees. You ever seen those areas where it looks like all evergreen trees? That's probably a taiga. Uh, like maybe up in Alaska, you'll have that. Temperate forests. These are very moderate temperatures. You have distinct seasons. So you have the summer, spring, fall, and winter seasons. Similar to our climate. We're kind of in this a little bit. If you get into Kansas, that's temperate grassland. Um, so we're probably more like temperate grassland. But um, lots of evergreen and leaf shedding trees. Those are your oak and, and regular oak or maple trees, things like that. Temperate grassland, a lot like temperate forest. Um, except there's usually not a whole lot of trees. Instead of there's a lot of just open prairies, usually forms on the interior of continents and does get less rain than temperate forests. Um, that's one of the reasons there's not trees because there's not enough rain for those trees to grow. You have tropical forests. This is where um, lots of plant life usually occur near the equator, very hot, second hottest biome, and you get the most rainfall. 200 to 400 centimeters per year, quite a lot. You have the savanna, which is the third hottest biome, second highest rainfall. But the rainfall in the savanna is usually interesting because you have a rainy season where it just pours, monsoons, and then you have a drought season where everything's real dry. Wide open grasslands, a lot of Africa is a savanna. You have a chaparral, very close to what a desert is, but not quite as hot. You get spiny shrubs, scattered clumps of trees, very little rainfall. And then finally, you have the desert. Um, this is the hottest biome, but it can get pretty cold at night, too. Uh, very little rainfall, very sparse plant life. So terrestrial biomes, large land ecosystems, they can contain smaller but related ecosystems within it. And you can have like a desert in one area and another desert in a different area. And so you can have biomes throughout the, the world, Earth there. And Here's a picture of them all, or at least one diagram of the major biomes of the world. Thank you. I love you. Don't forget to do your study guide and your post questions, and good luck on your test.